All right, let's take a look at this. Let's take a look at these windows of opportunity. Um, Gerald sent this out to you. It should be in your emails. So check your emails. You'll have this to review. So let's take a look at this of when can we trade the smaller Renko size with the larger Renko size trend. Now, a lot of you guys did this yesterday, and you had one heck of a day trading. So congratulations to all you that took advantage of <clears throat> trading this um, this setup inside and outside the trading room. I got a lot of positive emails. So you guys, congratulations on doing that. So let's look at these windows of opportunity that we have in the market. A window of opportunity, this is the 12020. The 12020. So what you want to do is you want to set up the 12020. Hey Ron, good morning. Set the 12020 beside the 11010. The 12020 is going to give you a window. It's going to give you a window of where we're going to look for the market to get strong or get to get weak. Once it becomes strong, it creates a window. So let's look at between this window here. I'll get an arrow. Hold on one second. Let's look between this window. Get this arrow bigger here so we can see it. We want to watch this today. So this window of opportunity yesterday, but I'll show you the one in the morning also. So 303.51 and the 321 created a window. So that 18 to 19 minute window gave you an opportunity to trade off a smaller Renko size. Notice the push that we get in the 120. All green Renko bars, all green, right? More importantly, look at my oscillator below. Look how we're pegged. right at my 123.81, right? We are pegged, flatlining, it's flatlining. Look how my zone is green, right? So those are the three top characteristics where you're in a hard trend. We have a green zone. Remember, these zones have been back tested over 30 years. We know we have the best possible zones on the S&P from a 30-year back test. Zones are green. Once we start flatlining above my oscillator for the S&P according to this Rico size, 123.81, we're in a strong market, we are pegged up. This is a window of opportunity. We go into then a no trade window. A no trade window, we don't want to look for trade setups in a no trade window because we are not trending. You can't look at this level more pegged here because it's against zone trend. So you don't look at this. The trend is green. The trend is up. We want to look for buy opportunities, not sell. We can't look for this because it has to trade by more than one candle at the 123.81 and start flatlining. The next window of opportunity came at 1345.39, 1 1.45 and 39 seconds. The reason being, my zone is green. I had a zone breakout on the larger Renko size and we start trending. All green Renko bars, we start flatlining at my oscillator below. So you go from a window of opportunity to a no trade window to a window of opportunity of strong trend. In the morning, shorts will look like the opposite. Your window of opportunity in the morning would be when you start trending a red zone 
So you're looking for shorts. So we can see where we start trading it, flatlining at this level right there. Look at my level down here. And she flatlines all the way down. So this is your window of opportunity as far as that goes to look for smaller Rinko entries. So this is a big window, a 20-minute window to look for smaller Rinko entries. So let's take a look at the window entries on the other one. If we look at today's session, At 5 o'clock this morning, all the way down to 6, what, an hour and 50 minutes, we had a lot of short opportunities this morning also. Let's look at the smaller Rinko size then. How can we fire in these trades? So I'll go back to the morning one first. So this is now a 110.10. I'm cutting half. So I just cut this in half, my Rinko size. You can have beside your larger Rinko size. The oscillator down here is irrelevant on the smaller Renko size because this is not going to show hard trend up or down because we're in a small Renko size. What's very important is that your zone trend has to match. We read zones. We're trending down. But what's key for this chart are your zone breaks. Your zone breaks are circled in between this window of opportunity. So I just showed you from 10 to that 10, 18, almost 10, 20, that was your 120 that was pegged at a hard downtrend. So we had one, two, three, four, five cells or shorts inside of the window. Now there's two ways you can do this. A, you can use my strategy, automated trade management software. And the automated trade manager software, you can put a trail on this move. You can put a trail. So if you're using a 110, 110 entry, you can use between a 15 to 23 trail. A 23 trail got all this move down, all the way down to the low. A 15 is pretty tight, but it still gets most of this move on most of these. But then you can also have smaller stops because it's a 110 Renko. Let's take a look at the opportunity you get. The first sell signal was 5202. The low of that swing was 5181 and a half. You had a 20 point move, S&P point move, 20 points. That's an 80 tick move on the S&P. 80 ticks. 80 tick move and a 20 point window of opportunity. You can go your automated strategy software that we have, you can toggle it on inside the window of opportunity when you're in a stronger market. Or you can use Chart Trader to enter these trades with a smaller stop just outside of the Sprinko size with a trail between 15. If you're using a 10, you can see which one you like. I like 15 to 23. 23 should encompass a whole run on a 110 chart. It should encompass this whole big run. It encompasses all those one of opportunity runs. Yesterday, a 23 trail, it got the majority of the meat of the move. So that's an 80 tick run from the beginning, emphasis in this one of opportunity using a smaller Rinko chart. Let's look at the next two Rinko sizes. Here's my next one of opportunity. This is the opportunity between when the 120 start was pegged at 123.81 positive. We were green zone. You had a buy signal at 1303.51. You had a buy signal at 1312.09. You had a buy signal at 1319.08. A lot of you guys got on this one because you were talking about it in the room from the beginning. The fill was 18 and three quarters, plus or minus a couple ticks. And it got as high on the first push at 52.41 a quarter. Again, over a 20 point move, an 80 tick potential run of opportunity on a small Renko size. Remember these Renko sizes, if it's a 110 Renko, they have 10 ticks in between them. Your stop has to be at least 10 ticks just outside of this Renko size couple ticks below 
is suffice. Once again, a 15 to 23 trail, depending on how you want to do it. If you want it real tight, a 15 would, would encompass it. A 23 caught this whole move from here all the way up to this level. Then we go into the no trade zone. That's into the hard trend on the 120. You don't want to take this breakout on the smaller Rico size because we're not trading hard off the 120 large Rico size. So this is a chop. So we don't want to trade this. Then we go right into another window of opportunity where the 120 is starting to trend hard again. Once again, we got one, two, three windows. You guys caught this again chatting about it in the room there's your breakout plus or minus a couple ticks 42 52.42. the swing high was 57 my target of opportunity i gave you a market profile a window of opportunity as high as 55. let's go to the morning short morning short the same thing There's your opportunities off the morning short when the 120 was in a hard downtrend. So we can use a larger Renko size to, to A, to go on both sides. Let's take a look at the market right now. We're starting to trend now live, right? Thanks, Brad. We're starting to trend now. So now we have a window of opportunity. The window of opportunity has started here. We do not have one yet this morning. Trending hard. So right there, it's starting to trend. Look how we're pegged on my oscillator down at one negative 123.81. We are pegged. So since we're pegged, What you can do is you can turn your strategy on if you wanted to on the 110. It's where you turn your automated strategy on and let it do its work for you. It'll wait for the first retracement. We'll wait for the first retracement entry off this level. Or if you're looking for a chart trader to get an entry off the smaller wrinkle size because we show it in the room, it's got to retrace. Show me a green bar that retraces. That will form a zone break below the low of the bar when it does. Once it turns a yellow bar, we can get short the market. We're in a hard trend down. Look at the oscillator. We're pegged. Look at this. So here's a window of opportunity to look for short on a smaller Renko size coming up. Thanks, Brad. Now what you can do is you can use these market profile levels to find spots in the market. Yesterday morning, I was dead on on my gaps in the market. We use market profile. What did I say yesterday morning at 8.30? I said we have a 34 target, and then we have a 54 target. 34 target here, and then it's actually a 55 target, sorry. And I marked up a 34 target yesterday. There's the one I put yesterday. I deleted the other one. So what we want to do is we want to see find targets. Hit my first target, my gap, and then hit my second gap. You can use the previous market profiles to find target gaps. So I can find my targets this morning relatively easy. There's my control point. First target's hit, but look at this big tradable gap right now if we get a sell signal. My tradable gap right now is huge. I got 5208 down to a tradable gap of 4182. So I have over a 25 point gap in the market. So if you notice, there's a setup coming right now. There's my cell setup at 5206. My, my dots are going horizontal. I need, I need this to stay at negative 123.81. I need this to stay at negative 123.81. I have to have my 120 stay at, or with this window of opportunity, negative 123.81, stay pegged. And I need this market to start rolling over right now. 
I need it to roll over right now. I need to close below these horizontal dots. This is where my zone break is going to fire. It's going to be our first trade setup of today. So this is where we want to fire. Once it breaks, a yellow bar will turn. If the trade will be off, if why 123.81 goes higher. If this oscillator starts retracing, that means I'm not in a hard trend no more, and I cannot take this sell over here on the smaller Rinko size. So we're going into a big tradable gap right now. We're set up for a nice trade right now. We're looking at the big tradable gap we're going into. We're going to a big tradable gap on market profile. You know how accurate my gaps are. This has worked for 39 years. I don't use a 30-minute market profile. I use a two to four hour profile so I can find where the major gaps are. That's all the participants in the market, all the hedge funds, prop firms, banks, professional, amateur traders. We're going into a major tradable gap right now. That tradable gap right now from below low value area, we're going into an imbalanced market. We're going from a balanced market into an imbalanced sell market. Our first target is going to be 51.82 and three quarters for this morning. But it's got to break this zone right here before this oscillator retraces, just like it did yesterday on all those nice trades. This is where you can turn on your automated strategy. You got plenty of time to do it. You just du double click, enable your automated strategy on your 110. If you're trading off the 110, you'll make sure your stop is large enough to be outside of the Renko 10 tick size. And then you have a trail. You can put it out to 1,000 ticks if you want. If you're doing one contract, you can put it out to 1,000 ticks. Then you can put a trail. Uh, I go as high as 23. That's the highest trail I have on the 110. I don't need to go higher. But I go 23 ATR trail to trail this price if it starts moving down. The lowest I go is a 15. So now we're waiting for this break. Let's see if this break can happen. Only two things can happen with the strategy. You're going to hit our target or it's going to get stopped out. I mean, it's that simple. You know, but when we keep tight stops, that's a key. We want to keep tight stops on these trades. So once it breaks, my automated stop is going to be in. My automated entry is going to be in. My automated target is going to be in. I'm going to try to trade this whole tradable gap. Those tradable gaps yesterday were hit by using a 23 trail. All three tradable gaps yesterday that I just showed you on the video, they were all hit off of 110. If you go back and look, you guys that own the software with the 23 trail off of a 110. So we'll wait until this breaks. If this starts to retrace, I'll shut this video off. I'll let this video run right now. We're gonna let it run through this tradable gap. We're gonna let it run while we're waiting for this window of opportunity. This is a window of opportunity that started back at 8.22.28 this morning. We're using a larger Rinko size. We're using a 120.20 to fire into a 110.10 half the size. Now, if you don't like the 110.10, some of you trade off the 112.12, 113.13, that's fine. I like the 110.10. It's half the Rinko size of this. In order for us to get a setup, it's going to have to close below my zone break, my zone break, and see where the horizontal dots are showing. That's my key level. It gives you a big leading setup. This is not lagging indicators. These are leading indicators. Showing I got a break of 52.06 and a quarter. That's a breaking point in the market. I got a big tradable gap below me, so there's no support below us, according to market profile that's worked for 39 years. So we're set up as long as this oscillator doesn't retrace. It's got to stay at negative 123.81 in the S&P. That's my key level for a tradable, tradable trend. So we're patiently waiting. You get a major heads up on these trades. We're patiently waiting for this break at 52.06 and a quarter. If it breaks, you'll see the bar turn yellow. You'll have an alert on your speakers. If you're doing chart trader, and then we're in a tradable gap, and the target is all the way down to my previous profile. When you look at your previous profile, it's very simple. 
just go a day or two days back, you're gonna find these tradable gaps. I get this all the time for traders inside and outside the room, like how do you do that? How is it possible that you can pick targets for the whole entire trading day and sometimes be within two ticks, a point, two points? Yesterday, I picked the high when I was 30 points away from it, I picked the high within six ticks, 30 points away. So you can do that by looking at market profile. That's not my opinion. My opinion is worthless. Look at what, look at all the participants in the market. The participants show you there's a major gap in the market right now. There's no support. Volume profile is your most important piece of information you can use. And like I said, we don't use these 30 minute market profiles. No, thank you. We use two to four hour profiles to profile the market. All right, we're going into a tradable gap. Let's see if we get a yellow bar. So this will be our first trade. It's early in the morning. It's only 8.51 in the morning, Eastern Standard Time. We don't got a lot of action right now as far as the, uh, it's not after the New York Open. You, if this was the New York Open, this thing would be cranking through it past the New York Open. I want to show you how this works into a tradable gap. And we'll see if we can get pulled in to show you the yellow bar. Right now, we're still good on walking you through this trade. We're still negative 123.81. That's a hard trend down. I'm forming a zone break right now. My dots are horizontal. I'm waiting for a yellow bar break. As soon as I get two closes below, I need two closes below. I need two closes below. Right here, I need two closes below. Once I get two closes below, We should be good to go. We need two closes below. Once we get two closes below, We should have a yellow pulling bar. See, it's getting rejected off my zone break right now. It's getting rejected. We're still at negative 2381. Waiting for this break, 52 six and a quarter. If this retraces, we'll shut the video off and wait for the next one. If this retraces above 123.81, we're going to have to wait for the next trade set up. But look how patient you can be using this. I talked about this to traders yesterday. We had three huge windows, windows of opportunity for almost, what was it? There was 80, 160, over 200 plus ticks yesterday on three windows of opportunity. Because it gives you patience not to trade if you use these two Rinko sizes. It lets you have patience not to pull the trigger. We don't care about this oscillator over here on the small window. We care about this one. It's got to stay pegged at negative 2381. It's still pegged. This trade is still in effect. We're still hard trending down and waiting for a break. We are waiting for a break right now of 152.06 and a quarter. A lot of traders ask me, they're like, wow, this is way too fast. No, it's not. You can see it's not fast when you know what you're doing. If you know what to look for, if you qualify it on the S&P with the, now the NASDAQ is fast, but the S&P, you have plenty of time for these setups. When you do what? When you qualify it. The trend is hard down. We're pegged at 123.81. My zone is red. We're looking to short, and I know exactly where to look for the short, 52.06 and a quarter. All right, let's wait for this thing. Gerald, keep running this video so that these traders can replay it if they want. We're in a tradable gap, so we're perfectly set up for a big tradable gap move. See if we can get this thing to break. All 
But remember, the, this trade is not qualified if this oscillator starts retracing. Then it's not into a window of opportunity. Here's our window of opportunity that started right here. Right over here, see, this was not a window because it wasn't hard trending. See this? That's a no trade over here. We don't mess with garbage like that. We want to trade trends, so that's not a trade setup. Look, never start trading above 123.81 positive by more than one bar. It just hit it and went right back down. That's not a tradable window. Now we're in a tradable window. This is a tradable window that we're in right now. We're in a tradable window of opportunity as we speak. We got to get this market to roll over. I know it's early. It's got to roll between below 5206, but at least you get the idea of how these setups set up. You know what to look for. Now, if we're looking for a buy setup, it'd be the opposite. We'd have this. We'd have to have a green zone that's up. Remember, these zones have been tested for 30 years through an artificial intelligence program and a and an algorithm. We know these are the best zones on the S&P. So if they're red, we're selling. If they're green, we're buying. It's like a trend filter for us, so we don't counter trend trade the market. We're trying to short low and buy lower, or cover lower. We're going to turn yellow bar in a second after this closes. And we'll see if we get a nice, see if we get a run in this tradable gap. Now, when you do this, once this turns yellow, you want to make sure your stop is outside the swing, as what I like, or at least a couple ticks outside of the bars. But the swings are really good placements for look for stops. But it hasn't closed below it yet. It's just a really slow market this morning. I want to run through this, though, just so you see how I can walk you through the tradable gap. How to look for a weak market. This is a weak market. You're trying to short low and buy lower. We're not trying to buy low, sell high. That's for the amateur counter trend traders. I sent that out into the into the email. I was a guest speaker at the Las Vegas Trade Show. There we go. Las Vegas Trade Show. And a lot of traders try to buy low, sell high. Good luck trying to catch the market low all right all right the automated trade automated trade system is trailed it's scaled right now who's in the automated trade system right now or who's short there's your entry 5205 and a half it's low as 02 already what's your field Derek? 05 and a half you should be scaled 02 three and a half points already you can use the automated trade software to pop in that and be trailing right now. Or you can use the ATM. 04 and a quarter. Good job. Did you scale, Derek? Do you use your chart trader or the automated software? Okay, Brad, what, what was your entry? I know it's a slow trade because it's early in the morning, but you get the idea of what we try to look for. What was your entry on the auto? What was your auto entry? Oh, five and a half. So Brad Short, oh, five and a half. And we're down by up, up five points. Here's five points. All right. That's where the auto starts trailing. Window of opportunity. That's how you do it, guys. Beautiful. 199 and a quarter. We're still trailing. Good job, Derek. Who's all with Brad and Derek? I mean, I give you a huge heads up on this trade. We had 848.45 to 8.58. We had a 15-minute heads up on this video, a big heads up. We're still running. 41.98 as a low. Make sure you scale. That's how you can use the automated software, or if you're using Chart Trader, look how I set this up. We're still in a window of opportunity. We are pegged. We are pegged at negative 123.81.
It's been as low as 151.98 and a half. The fill is 05 and a half on the automated trade software that we provide that you can enable. Just double click it. You had 15 minutes to turn that puppy on before it broke. We're still running down. I got a big gap in the market. My target's 51.83, still running. 51.96, still running. 51.95. This is how you do it, guys. 51.94. This is how we turn it on, 15 minutes of the inside of a window of opportunity into a tradable gap. All right, we're over 10 points on the S&P right now, guys, over 10 points. Over 10 points on the S&P already. 